You know, a well-maintained boat is a happy boat. And most of us who've been boaters for many years, we have a whole maintenance routine set up. That includes me. Hi folks, I'm Lenny Rudo from Boat US. But you know, try as we all might, it seems like there are always some maintenance chores that we just forget about. Today, we're going to talk about five that you want to remember. Let's get started with a maintenance chore that most people would never think about because the gas assist struts that are used to support hatches like this are generally considered maintenance free. And mostly they are, but they do get dirty or sometimes are exposed to salt water. If that's the case, you will want to just wipe them down and keep them clean. Have you ever found a loose screw rolling around on the deck of your boat? I'll bet you have. I know I found that plenty of times. That's why at least once a season, it's a good idea to take a screwdriver and just go around on your boat and tighten every screw that you see. And that goes double for screws that sit upside down. They've got gravity working against them. Whoop, that one was loose. Even these silly little snaps need some attention now and again. It's good to lubricate them so you don't stress the canvas too much when you pull. You can use a dedicated snap lubricant. You can even lubricate them with a little wax. Here's an old trick my dad taught me. There's always a little bit of oil on the side of your nose. Just wipe your finger there and then rub that snap and it'll operate much easier. Zippers, they need some lubrication too to operate properly. And you can use a dedicated zipper lubricant, the same stuff you use to lubricate the snaps. Even rubbing a wax candle along the teeth of the zipper will help it operate smoothly. Okay, people, now if your boat has an outboard, this one could save you big bucks in the long run. Make sure you come back to the swivel bracket and steering arm and look for Zerk fittings. Now, different manufacturers have different instructions on how often these should get hit with a grease gun. But make sure you check it out because if this bearing fails, it can be catastrophic. You can lose the ability to steer your boat. What's worse is fixing it usually requires pulling the entire engine off the boat. That can cost big bucks. Well, folks, I promised you five maintenance tips, but I've got a bonus. You see, plastic pieces like this speaker grill right here, cleaners and sunlight leach the plasticizers out of it. This will last much longer if you treat it with a dedicated plastic cleaner and restorer. Well, there you have it, people. Not five, but six forgotten maintenance tips. And I'll bet there are more that you've discovered on your own. So don't forget to put them in the comments below. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to click subscribe so you don't miss any future Boat US videos, and I'll see you next time.